Hello everyone, Andy Weisinger coming to you from the beautiful Eaglewood Golf Course on Langley Air Force Base. Today we're out on hole 16. We've hit a drive, it was a good drive, but it went through the fairway and we ended up in a fairway bunker. So fairway bunkers provide some different challenges because of the sand and the lip or the face of the bunker we have to make sure we get out of. So for that reason, our primary focus out of the fairway bunkers is going to be the same as it is out of the greenside bunkers, and that is objective one, get it out of the sand, right? So if I were in the fairway, I would probably be going for the green, or I would choose the particular club to leave myself with the exact yardage I want to comfortably attack the pin and still give myself a good chance at birdie. Now, as we said, the sand is very different from the turf, so it provides some different challenges. One is as we swing and as we turn, it's very easy to slip and slide in the sand. So we have to make sure that our foundation is secure. Now to do this, you'll see some people dig way in. You don't need to do that. That will just vary the level that your ball is compared to your feet and now you're gripping up way on the club and there's a lot of things that could possibly go wrong. So. What we're going to do is we're just going to comfortably anchor our feet so that they're not going to slide because our primary thought process is going to be to keep our lower body still. We want to make sure that everything rotates around the center of our swing directly under our head so that when we make that full swing, our lower body is very quiet and we can hit that shot crisply and out of the sand. Now typically there's a little bit of sand in between your club and the ball, so I like to take one more club out of a fairway bunker just to make sure I get that proper distance I'm looking for. So my objective here is I want to hit the ball about 180 yards, so I've selected my 5 iron which off the turf for me goes about 190, so I've taken one more club, normally I would be a 6 iron to go 180, I've got a 5 iron, and I want to think about making my swing very quiet with my lower body, staying still over the ball, and hit the ball first. Let's see how it works. All right. Now this same swing and same idea you can do with any club that will get over the face of the bunker. To show that, now we're going to hit a fairway wood out of the fairway bunker, see if we can't give it a go to hit the green. So the fairway wood, everything is going to be the same. Just settle my feet in, get set. Keep my lower body very still, upper body rotating around the center of my swing. All right, now let's go up to a shorter fairway bunker and talk about how to get the ball up over those high lips. All right, so we find ourselves with a much different scenario in this fairway bunker. The other fairway bunkers, fairly shallow, relatively flat, fairly easy to get the ball up and out of the bunker over that lip. Here, we're on a slope. We have a big lip or edge of the bunker, face of the bunker in front of us, hill that we have to make sure we get the ball over all of that in order to get to our target. So try to hit that same five iron that we hit out of the other bunker, you see that that five iron is gonna hit the ball straight in to the face of this bunker, and we're not gonna get out of the bunker, or we're just gonna dribble right out to the other side, probably stay in the deep rough on the other side of the bunker. So five iron, not gonna use it. I have a nine iron, can I maximize my distance while still getting over the bunker? Well, if I hit that nine iron, well, that might get it over the face, but just barely. So do I want to take the chances of having to hit this nine iron perfectly to get it up over that lip? 
I don't know if I want to take that chance. So nine iron, not going to use it in this scenario. Got my sand wedge. That's going to ensure I get over the lip of this bunker. It may not be able to carry me all the way to the green, but that's okay. My primary objective is to get out. I do not want to waste extra shots here in this bunker. So I want to get it out somewhere around the green, and then my short game, I can get the ball up and down. So I'm going to take this sand wedge. I'm going to just lightly dig my feet and get that stable base. A little bit more sand on the face of this bunker, so my left foot dug in a little bit more. I always want to keep my weight a little bit more towards the uphill side so I don't lose my weight backwards and hit the ball or hit the ground behind the ball. So I want to make sure my lower body stays quiet. My upper body rotates around the center of my swing. I hit this shot, ball first, ball will get out, no problem. Okay, that got us out over the lip without too much trouble. So work on those things. Practice some shots out of the fairway bunkers. When you're on the course late in the afternoons, go into those bunkers, hit those shots, know what you're doing, know what clubs will get you out in the different scenarios. Primary objective, get out of the sand, keep your base stable. Center of your swing is what you rotate around, and you will get out of the fairway bunkers no trouble at all. Practice these things. Let us know how it goes. Mention it in the comments below how you like the video, how you think it'll help you. If you like the video and want us to make more, click the subscribe button, and we'll see you next week. Keep practicing.